All right, guys, thank you for joining me today on our uh, daily top seven at seven. I am your host, Virtual Kane, and today is the 7th of February, 2017. It'd be a Tuesday. Uh, let's see. Uh, Betsy DeVos is still fighting uh, for her spot. Uh, let's hope that we can find somebody else to uh, keep her from finding it. All right, Iran thanks Trump, rebuffs U.S. warning on missiles. Ayatollah Khomeini on Tuesday dismissed the U.S. decision to put Iran on notice over its missile tests and called President Donald Trump the real face of American corruption. At least 20 dead in bomb blast outside Afghan Supreme Court. At least 20 people were killed on Tuesday in a bomb blast outside the Supreme Court in the center of the Afghan capital, government officials said, in what appeared to be the latest in a series of attacks on the judiciary. Syria executes, tortures, thousands at military prison. The Syrian government executed up to 13,000 prisoners in mass hangings and carried out systematic tortures at a military jail near Damascus, writes watchdog Amnesty International said on Tuesday. Mm. Islamic State sees chance to revive fortunes in Trump presidency. President Donald Trump has set out to crush Islamic State when it is already at a low ebb, but Islamists and some analysts say his actions could strengthen the ultra-hardline ultra group by creating new recruits and inspiring attacks on U.S. soil. You know what? I'm sorry. When they say stuff like that, it's like they're willing it to happen. You know, they're, they're just putting it out there in the ether, and it, it kind of pisses me off. Uh, and uh, by, you know, proxy, I'm doing it too, which kind of pisses me off. So, I don't know. Take take from that what you will. France's Macron dismisses affair as rival Fion battle scandal. France's scandal-plagued presidential race sank deeper into the mire on Tuesday after centrist Emmanuel Macron was forced to deny an extramarital affair and conservative Francois Fillon pressed on with efforts to salvage his reputation. As we all know, uh, Frankie Fillon's wife was taking money from the state for a job that she wasn't actually doing. And, uh, yeah, apparently Macron's got this uh, extramarital affair. Um, so, <laughs> I think in the news story yesterday, they actually said that uh, people are taking bets that the incumbent uh, president is actually going to wind up getting the vote, even though he already dropped out of the race, you know, last year. So, anyhow, I think that's, you know, gosh, man, we think we got a bat out here, France, man. I'm sorry, man. No, re <laughs> no renegotiation on Brexit deal if Parliament rejects it. Minister, Britain will not seek further talks with the Euro European Union if Parliament rejects the exit deal it reaches, the government said in a statement on Tuesday as ministers resisted pressure to give lawmakers more say on the terms of the final government. I feel like we are missing critical information here uh, it does so we already know that you know the the Scots said that uh, it doesn't matter what our vote is if you do this you know you're do you're gonna do it anyway but you know we're gonna kick it off for you now is it the same thing with um, with Parliament um, if Parliament decides to get rid of it are they going to um, are they going okay Sorry about that. Are they going to uh, do the? Are they going to do the same thing? So um, you know that might be something uh, interesting to dig a little deeper into. Cars torched as tensions flare in Paris suburb. Gangs of French youths torched cars and bins in a showdown with police in a North Paris suburb overnight, in a grim reminder of the simmering tensions that sparked weeks of more serious rioting in the decade, in um in the decade in the area a decade ago. Wow. Merkel urges Putin to help end violence in eastern Ukraine. German leader Angela Merkel urged Russia's Vladimir Putin in a telephone call on Tuesday to use his influence to 
to use his influence on separatists in eastern Ukraine to stop the violence there, and the two agreed on the need for new ceasefire efforts, a German government spokesperson said. They both agree on the need for the efforts, but are any of them taking them? Ah. That's for them to decide and discover. I am just here to report the news. Philippines Defense Minister says peace talks with rebels possible. Peace talks between the Philippine government and communist rebels to end nearly five decades of conflict are still possible even though the president has ordered all-out war, the defense minister said on Tuesday. And our final story of the year, yes, Britain's own uh, Theresa May is going to visit China later this year to discuss trade ties, the latest in a series of foreign trips to cement relations with major powers as she negotiates Britain's divorce from the European Union. All right, you guys, I hope you had fun uh, today. Uh, you got to see a little bit of the ins and outs of show production, um, you know, little little camera errors here and there, but uh, nothing that I think we're going to have to re-record the show for. So have a wonderful day. Uh, please leave some comments. Let me know what you think of the show. If you like the direction it's moving in, if you think I'm a little bit too, too biased, uh, against, you know, somebody that I shouldn't be, uh, let me know. I, I want a discussion. I would love a discussion. Would love to talk to you people. Hit me up, bro. You know, just put it in the comments, yo. Uh, <laughs> we, we got stuff to talk about. I mean, how are we going to fix this world if we don't talk about it? You know, I, I am trying to, uh, create like a, um, uh, uh, a center, a center path that everybody can agree to, and it's really difficult because so many people feel like if they move away from their misery, that it lessens their, um, that it destroys who they are. You know, they can only identify themselves with the misery that they experience. Therefore, if you were to take that misery away, they would no longer be able to. Uh, no longer be able to, uh, no longer be able to have a personality, no longer to say who they are or what they feel or, you know, like suddenly, uh, it invalidates everything that they've ever stood for. So, um, and I could see in this, you know, political era, I mean, uh, the, the minute anybody says anything, they'll jump right on it. So love you guys. See you in the next episode. Peace.